Good morning, everyone. It's really good to be able to kick off this uh, 21 days of prayer and fasting in 2022. And as you always say, a great opportunity because it is a brand new year. So today I want to, us to really be thankful to God for his faithfulness throughout 21, of course, his protection upon our lives and uh, to, to be really thankful for all of his provision to us as well and to get our hearts and our minds in the right places is really really important in front of me i have a blank sheet of paper and that really is 2022 it's a blank sheet of paper there's nothing on it but from today onwards and from this month onwards we start to put things on there and the thing is once we put them on it's very hard to get them back off and so really now when we start to fill in the empty sheet, let's just remember to do some things that are really important. Let's recalibrate, take this opportunity of a new year to recalibrate our lives. Uh, basically what that means is to set our lives up towards our priorities and to what means the most in our lives and maybe organise it so that what means less, um, we can phase that out as well and start to do more of the things that are healthy, more of the things that are wise, more of the things that are good for us, more of the things that are productive and effective in God's will and purpose for our lives. So to recalibrate uh, gives us a great opportunity to do that and to reshape our own personal world. Everybody's got their own personal world. I'm sure you understand that. And and uh, the world I live in, the world you live in, they're probably slightly different because of the people we mix with, the careers we have, the decisions we take and make uh, and the roads which we go down uh, are quite different. But we get the opportunity to reshape that every year at this particular time. So I would really recommend a reshape where we need to do that. I'd also definitely um, look at reordering priorities in our lives because out of that comes so much. What are the things that mean the most to you in your life? What are the things that don't mean that much? What are the things that really, to be honest, you could do without? Um, they're not good for you, they're not helpful to you, not healthy for you. Um, go through those things and list your priorities. Uh, what matters most? I think 2021 for me was, was quite a harsh lesson on, on the priorities of life, uh, making the most out of what we have and making the most out of what we've been given. So let's start to do that at the start of this, especially this 21 days of prayer and fasting. And my last thought for us all is this, one degree. I preached a sermon some years ago and it was just called one degree. And, and basically what we were saying there uh, was that if we were to alter our lives and things that we do in our lives by one degree, just one degree, um, we would end up in a different place at the end of the year because of that one degree. Take a, a map and you, you were to, 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 to create a route to go somewhere with navigational equipment, I get, for instance, an old, an old uh, sea uh, pilot was to do and he was to just change the course by one degree. Uh, it wouldn't make much difference within the first mile or two, or furlong or two, as they do in the ocean. But by the end of the day, or the end of two or three days, you would be in a completely different place because of one degree change. And that's helpful because it's when, when it comes to New Year and, 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 and New Year's resolutions and this, we're going to do that, we're going to do that, we're going to, and, and seldom do we ever follow through on those things because we try to do too much, too quickly, too soon. But one degree, one degree of change. Uh, what's the one thing in 2022 that you're going to nail, that you're going to say, no more of that, I'm not going to be like that, I'm not going to be late, I'm not going to be missing that and doing this and doing that, a bit sloppy here, sloppy there. I'm going to absolutely nail that situation in my life. I'm going to I'm going to be different in that area. I'm going to, how I study the scriptures, how I read my Bible, how I set up my devotional life here, some hints here for you, some clues for you, some really good tips. Um, why not get, get a, a happy place 
to read your Bible, read your devotional in, in a different room, in a different place, um, uh, using different tools and different equipment to make sure that these little incremental changes that we, we, we place in our lives at the beginning of this year, we will end up in a completely different place. God bless you. Let's follow the Lord together this year again. And I think this is going to be an exciting year and I do think it's going to be um, a very prosperous year in Jesus' name. God bless.